Hey everyone, it's Mike here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how I created this high fidelity wireframe for this daily UI prompt. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start off by creating a new document. So let's go ahead and go up to File, New, then I'm going to choose the Devices tab and select the iPhone X XS template. Now make sure that the artboard is checked as well so that we can create multiple artboards later. After that, let's go ahead and click Create. Now let's zoom out a bit and let's create two more artboards by holding down the Option, left click and drag, or if you're on a PC, it's Alt and left click and drag. All right, now that we have three artboards with all the artboards selected, let's space them out evenly by going up to the toolbar and clicking on the alignment button, followed by clicking on the align horizontal. Moving on, now that we have our artboards set up, let's go ahead and rename them. The first artboard, We'll call it low fidelity, followed by medium fidelity or mid fidelity. Let's go ahead and do mid fidelity because it's much shorter to type. And last but not least, we have our high fidelity wireframe. After that, it's time to start designing the low fidelity wireframe. Low fidelity wireframes are basically sketches that captures the basic structure of a user interface. It's not supposed to look visually appealing or polished. The purpose of a low fidelity wireframe is to get your ideas down on paper, or in this case, an artboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my graphics tablet to draw on this artboard uh, to demonstrate how a low fidelity wireframe should look like. So let's go ahead and go up to the persona toolbar and select the pixel persona. Now I can select the brush tool and since I have my brush palette already opened, uh, I can select what which medium I would like to draw draw with. And if you don't have it open, you can find the brush palette located under the View, Studio, and Brushes menu. There are many types of brushes that Affinity provides, but in this video, I'm just going to use a pen as my brush medium, just for simplicity. So I'm going to sketch out a UI of a thank you screen for a concept investing app. This prompt was emailed to me by Daily UI, and if you're not familiar with what Daily UI is, it's basically a subscription to receive emails of daily user interface prompts. And um, you have total complete freedom to come up with your own designs for the prompt, uh, and it, it's, it also helps improve your design practice. All right, I'm going to speed this portion of the video up and I'll check back with you shortly. All right, as you can see here, I labeled the button CTA, which stands for call to action, meaning that I want the users to click on this button to continue on to the next screen. Now let's move on to the next wireframe. All right, before I start working on the next wireframe, let's switch the pixel persona back to the original one, which is called the designer persona. So medium or mid fidelity wireframes are simply monotone or grayscale designs. 
And at this stage, it's more focused on functionality rather than making user interface elements or components uh, look colorful and pretty. Also, um, medium fidelity wireframes can be sketched out as well with a bit more basic details, but I usually find it a lot more efficient to do it digitally, and you'll see why later in this video. So let's bring up the asset menu by going to view, studio, and assets. This is a huge time saver because they have a lot of user interface components that you can use to create your wireframes. Um, and in this case, I'm going to use the iPhone X status bar. Uh, and then we can just click and drag and drop it over to the artboard just like that. Also under the icons, I'm going to use the, the check mark icon and drag it over and drop it into the artboard. Um, but again, uh, I'm going to change the color uh, to black just to keep things in monotone or grayscale uh, since we're just focusing on the functionality. Now I'm going to create a rectangle shape to represent the text. You can also add text into these rectangle shapes, but since I have the low fidelity wireframe next to it as a reference, uh, I already know which rectangle represents a text uh, or a CTA button. All right, I'm going to speed this portion of the video up and I'll check back with you shortly. Okay, now that we have the medium fidelity wireframe completed, let's move on to our next stage. Finally, our last wireframe is called the high fidelity wireframe, uh, which are made using digital tools and they also review how the screen will look like upon completion with full color, typography, uh, and other uh, aesthetic nuances. So as I mentioned earlier that I find it efficient to create medium fidelity wireframes digitally because now I can just duplicate everything over from the mid fidelity wireframe artboard over to the high fidelity wireframe artboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that by selecting all of the user interface components in our medium fidelity wireframe artboard and hold down the option left click and drag or if you're on a PC it's alt left click and drag everything over to the high fidelity wireframe artboard um, and now it's just simply polishing everything up by adding colors inserting text editing the typography uh, and other visual nuances such as adjusting the corner radius of rectangle shapes. So now I'm going to speed this portion of the video up and I'll check back with you shortly. So there you have it. Now I have a wireframe for a low, medium, and high fidelity. I'm able to use Affinity Designer to create these types of wireframes seamlessly, but unfortunately they do lack a prototyping feature that other designs 
design softwares do have. Um, but who knows, maybe that would be available in a future update. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something from it and feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or what other types of videos you look forward to seeing in the near future. So consider subscribing and on that note, I'll see you next time. Thank you.